Would you believe it? <laughs> Would you believe it? I don't know whether you can see that or not. Thanks, Greenwich. I come all this way today. I thought I'd find something a bit more picturesque, something you know a bit more beautiful that we could uh, do our hill reps on today. There's a big sign saying no cycling. So I'm here in Greenwich Park. Absolutely lovely park, beautiful day, sunshine, everything perfect. Apart from this sign saying no cycling. However, there's a road just here. Whilst it says no trade vehicles, it doesn't say no cycling. So I'm going to see if I can find a nice place here to do my hill reps today. Now, Today, there are two words that I dread when I look at my training schedule. One is hard, and one is hill reps. Okay, that's two words, but... <laughs> um, and together, together, hard hill reps. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Uh, so I've got 45 minutes to an hour, hard hill reps here in the park. Uh, I need to find the place where I'm allowed to cycle. There's a cycle path on this hill, but it doesn't look too difficult. Um, but anyway, let's explore the park, try and find some good hills that we're allowed to cycle on, and uh, wish me luck. And I'll remember to start the timer this time. Quite a hard hill. Harder than I expected. Certainly one that is uh, worthy for these hill reps. So this is certainly looks fun. I've got another reward hopefully coming today. I finally got around to ordering my cycling shoes. And I'm supposed to be getting them today. So I'm really looking forward to that and uh, I'll definitely use them on the next ride and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. <coughs> this is a nice descent. No pedalling, see what kind of speed I can get up to here, get my elbows in. when I'm struggling on the hills because I go for an extra gear and there isn't any. <laughs> I'm already, there we go, already in the lowest gear. Right, I'm going to change into the biggest chain ring. Oh, somebody calling me. Hello? Hello darling, are you on your yeah, I'm in Greenwich Park doing hill reps. Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> that was my mum. Well done. That's brilliant. Okay, I guess she doesn't speak English. Uh, let's see how fast I can go down here.
I actually thought I'd have to descent now. <laughs> it's crazy. But I keep forgetting these are supposed to be hard hill wraps. So, I need to go again, but I get really parched when I do this. So I'm gonna have some water. I actually watched an interesting YouTube video of a guy doing hill reps, running hill reps. He was giving some tips and advice and I thought maybe there'd be some crossover. And uh, he was running up a hill across, it's just over here on the edge of the park. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So, cheers to hill reps. Hey, you doing some hill training? Yeah. <laughs> Pedaling down was fun, but that's my rest, so I'm just gonna free will from now on. Still getting my eyes going a bit watery, uh, but it's much less bad in this warmer weather. In cold weather, it's really, uh, really severe. I can barely see where I'm going. These bottle caps really saved me from eating all the road grime. I love it for that. But it's not easy to, uh, to operate with one hand. I suppose if I wanted to make these hill reps truly hard I would have brought two full water bottles. Because uh, that's what I'm going to have on the lands into Brighton. So. So I said I'm supposed to be getting my shoes today, my cycling shoes. And apart from just being exciting and shiny and new, one of the reasons why I'm really looking forward to it is because, um, from what I've heard, hey, <laughs> from what I've heard, um, it's more efficient. So I should be able to do the same effort. I go faster or go the same speed for less effort. That sounds like my kind of upgrade. Less effort. Sounds like just what I need. And this is supposed to be hard. I don't know how to judge the hill reps, to be honest. Do I do steeper? Do I do longer? Do I do both? Do I, do, do I go faster? I think if I had like a power meter or something, then it'd be really easy to judge the easy, moderate, hard, kind of thing I get used to what I'm capable of and try and average a certain power but I don't have a power meter I'm not sure I'm that serious and um, so I'm just trying to do it by feel so that last part of the hill sorry I couldn't talk the last part there I was trying to maintain power throughout the pedal stroke. I was trying to use the grip of my shoes on the on the flat side of these pedals to uh, sort of push forwards and pull backwards rather than just pushing up and down or rather pushing down. Um, and yeah, it did feel, did feel better, did feel more efficient. Felt like I was getting more power and not just more power, but that more consistent delivery makes it much easier to maintain. So, yeah, I actually think these shoes might make a bigger difference than I expect, especially on the hills, because that's where you've really noticed the, uh, the gaps in, in, the, in the power cycle, I guess. I mentioned when I did the last hill reps that um, I'd adjusted my brakes, my brake levers, I should say, and I've adjusted them so they're closer into the handlebars. Uh, I don't have especially big hands don't have a long reach and find this more comfortable. Um, what I didn't read though in any of the videos that I watched about adjusting them was the fact that once you adjust the distance um, you have to kind of readjust your cable because by pulling the brake levers closer in 
it's the same as pulling the brakes on. And so immediately after I'd adjusted them, I noticed my brakes were just rubbing constantly. Um, so yeah, if you adjust your brakes and it's nice and easy to reach, remember you need to actually uh, then readjust the cable length and everything so that the brakes aren't fully on or partially on even when you're not applying any brake pressure and then conversely once you've adjusted it you need to make sure that once you when you pull the brakes you can pull them on fully uh, before it actually touches the handlebars so yeah if you choose to adjust your brakes uh, make sure you know what you're doing make sure it's all working properly test it thoroughly in a safe environment because uh, that's one part of your bike well one of the few i guess but very crucial part you really don't want the braking going wrong Rep six, maybe seven. Uh, we've got about fifteen minutes left. Yeah. <coughs> so each set seems to take about five minutes or so. Mostly going up, obviously. Now it's more amount of time going down. This guy's quick. I don't know how they do that, that's insane. Yeah, so it was 16 minutes last time I checked at the bottom here. Now 11 minutes, yeah, so that's five minutes of wrap. So I should be able to get two more in. Uh, I've lost track of it on seven. Eight. I think if I can get close to ten, then uh, I'm doing well. I don't know how long this hill is. I mean, what kind of elevation it is. Um, so far, the best I've done well, it was just over 200 meters recorded, but I've done two reps before that, so um, I suspect it was a bit more than that. <clears throat> But in that case, it just has like a massive skid at the end to slow down. Ah, absolutely balmy. Anyway, two more of these. I think I can be fairly pleased after that. I'm not sure this qualifies me to get up Dishwing Beacon, but hopefully it can do the rest of that. I was talking to my daughter this morning and she just said, well, why don't you just go and do the hill that's at the end of the London to Brighton? Why don't I just go and do Dishwing Beacon? Um, and I said, well, you know, I'd have to ride 75 kilometres to get there first. Uh, I guess you might as well just say, so I'm going to train for the London to Brighton, why don't I just ride from London to Brighton and well, in all honesty, probably the best advice, isn't it? One of the weird things I've noticed about getting a bit, a bit fitter is, um, well, it's not always noticeable. What I mean by that is, yesterday on my rest day, I just sort of sit around trying and rest as much as possible and I get up and I walk up the stairs and down the stairs and I feel quite tired and I found that quite alarming I thought well what's happened to all this fitness what's happened to all the results of all the hours and all the hard work and the training why am I tired just going up and down the stairs well the difference seems to be if I wanted to I can keep going up and down the stairs, I keep going up and down the stairs for longer. I'm not necessarily going to be less tired each time, but 
I'm going to be able to keep going for longer. And that sort of reflected in the uh, in my riding as well. I'm still really tired when I get to the top of the hill. It's not that I'm suddenly magically not tired because I'm so fit. But um, I said I can do another one and another one. And uh, whilst I'm tired, I'm not completely out of energy. I really need to lube my train again. I've got this muck off lube, which is the dry lube. And it's supposed to be environmentally friendly and used like Team Sky and it smells really nice. That's a weird thing to say, but it does smell nice. Uh, but I seem to have to apply it alarmingly frequently. I guess that's the price for eco-friendly, but... Hell wraps hard. That was very hard. But then all of the hell wraps I've found hard so far. Um, so I don't know how to measure out. Uh, I'll put some uh, stats up on the screen showing how hard <laughs> how high I climbed. Hopefully uh, there's a fair bit over 200 meters. Uh, because that's the best I've done so far and this is supposed to be hard and I hope that I've uh, done at least that uh, I don't know if uh, Strava will tell me now and he tells me the distance so far so but yeah that was hard hill wraps uh, painful but necessary uh, still not sure I'm going to get up to Itchling Beacon uh, but I should be able to make the rest of the route, so that's good news. Um, I'm sorry I sound so flat in these videos. <clears throat> it's really hard to encourage, uh, to summon the uh, energy to be really enthusiastic uh, when you're really tired or you're just trying to conserve the energy. Um, so sorry about that, but uh, genuinely. I can really feel the difference, I can really see the difference, and uh, it's really exciting. So, uh, thanks again for coming along today. Uh, tomorrow I think we've got 20k moderate, something like that, or easy. And then on Sunday, 60k moderate. So that should be interesting. We should at least have a route that's a bit different and a bit interesting. Uh, so I hope you'll come along and join me for that. But until then, um, I'll be back soon. Thanks. Bye.